This video describes the DMX250 transceiver for multiple DMX, RDM networks over a power line and trains how to operate it. What is DMX512, RDM protocol? A standard for a network controlling stage lighting and effects. The network connected by RS485, daisy chain shielded twisted pair wires. The RDM allows bi-directional communication between a DMX controller and attached RDM compliant devices over the DMX line. The DMX250 device solution simplifies the DMX networks by eliminating the shielded twisted pair cables and RS485 transceivers. The DMX250 merges DMX data over the existing power lines. The DMX250 DMX, RDM over power line transceiver, eliminates DMX cables. Up to 8 DMX networks may share the same power line. Reliable data communication, multiple selectable carrier frequencies, 5 to 30 MHz. Sleep modes for low power consumption. Small footprint QFN32, 5 by 5 mm package. The DMX250 main building blocks. Protocol handling. Interprets the DMX512 and RDM protocols. Codec, encodes, decodes the data against errors. Modem, phase modulates and demodulates the data to and from the power line. Sleep, ensures low power consumption during sleep mode. Transmit flow. Starts upon detecting the DMX, RDM message from the DMX controller via HDI pin. The DMX250 transmits over the power line a frame that contains the DMX, RDM data bytes, break condition. Mark after break, slot 0, containing the 1 byte start code. Up to 512 slots of channel data, each containing 1 byte. Receive flow. Starts when a power line frame is detected. The frame is decoded back into the DMX, RDM original message and sent sequentially to the DMX controller via HDO pin. Interfacing with the DMX controller. HDI and HDO are input and outputs to the DMX controller. HDC pin allows access to the DMX250 registers, by lowering this pin. Frequency select 0 to 4, pins determine the operating frequency. Coupling to a DC power line by a simple capacitor and protection diodes. Interfacing to existing DMX, RDM module that has already a built-in RS-485 transceiver. An additional RS-485 transceiver is required to translate the signals to TX and RX 3.3 volts logic. Coupling to AC power line. Use small value coupling capacitors C1 and C2. The diodes are used to clip impulses that may still pass the capacitors. It is the system designer's responsibility to check the local regulations for high voltage coupling. RDM Discovery Auto Arbitration Mode Arbitration mode prioritizes messages over power line when RDM discovery is activated by the DMX controller. When RDM slave discovery response is detected, the DMX250 generates an arbitration sequence over the power line. If arbitration succeeded, the DMX250 transmits its message. Else, the DMX250 aborts its transmission and receives a message from another DMX250 device. Controlling the device's internal registers. Upon setting HDC pin to 0, the DMX controller accesses the internal registers by read reg and write reg commands, see datasheet. Write reg command. 3 bytes command. Read reg command. 2 bytes command. Output levels are configured by reg 1. Bit 0, 1, maximal drive of 66 mA, 0, 33 mA. Bit 3, 0, 1 volt, 1, 2 volts peak to peak. Carrier frequency. Setting between 5 to 30 MHz with a spacing of 100 kHz. Selecting the active frequency by 1 by 5 freak select pins. See the frequencies table in the datasheet. 2 by the value in reg 2. Upon power up, freak select pins define the operating frequency. 
Any change in these pins or reg 2 updates the carrier frequency. Calculating reg 2 frequency value. Reg 2 equals carrier frequency in megahertz minus 5 multiplied by 10. Example for a carrier of 14.1 MHz, reg 2 equals 14.1 minus 5, multiplied by 10, equals 5 B hex. Entering into the sleep mode. There are two ways to enter sleep mode, one, by asserting the end sleep pin low. Two, by setting reg 3 bit 7 to high. When the device enters sleep mode, the INH pin is asserted low. Exiting sleep mode. There are three ways to exit sleep mode. 1. Upon detection of a wake-up message. 2. Raise the end sleep pin to 1. 3. By toggling HDC. When exiting the sleep mode, the INH pin rises. Reference schematic. 1. The L1, L2 inductors. Use only the recommended parts. 2. Analog grounds. Connect all analog GND to digital GND close to the device pins. 3. Short PCB lines. Keep L1, L2 lines to the device short. 4. Connect frequency pull up and pull down resistors to GND or VCC. 5. Band pass filter. 5 MHz, bandwidth 1.4 MHz, 470 ohm. For more information, go to yamar.com slash product slash DMX 250.